I haven't seen Mac Malden since the Martian Memorandum case. I remember him as a surly, incompetent, fat-nosed cop. As I step into his office, I can see he's changed. His nose is even bigger. Well, if it isn't Tex Murphy... I figured you'd be dead by now. No, not yet. Actually, I'm working on a case. Sure you are. Probably a case of cheap scotch. I wish. I couldn't afford a glass of scotch these days. Well, I hear our custodial department is hiring. Pick up an application on your way out. Can't you find something better to do than bother me? I don't mean to bother you, but I'm still stuck on this cape. Tell you what, help me solve this case I'm working on and I'll buy you scotch. And not the cheap stuff. Bribing a cop, babe, Murphy. Get out of here now and I might not bust you! Oh, come on. Remember the Martian Memorandum case? Hey, we made a swell team. Yeah, those were the days. I don't get cases like that anymore. Things are harder now. The mayor's office is all over me again. You heard about the string of pawn shop robberies? We have no suspects, and I'm catching the heat for it. So you and your crack team of detectives have no leads? Of course we have leads, you pots. We know he's a norm, Caucasian, and has AB negative blood. That narrows down our list of suspects to about a million. Now get out of my hair. I got work to do. Looks like Mr. Bum is home for the evening. Yeah, what do you want? Looks like you're busy drowning your troubles, my good man. Well, Mr. High and Mighty, what are you, a preacher or something? Good guess. Actually, I'm a gumshoe and I'm looking for some information. That's what I figured. You've got a fedora, a trench coat, and you look broke. Oh, it hurts so bad to be insulted by a bum like you. If you don't like it, then leave. Oh no, not you again. Look, I'll warn you right now, I'm almost out of chocolate syrup, and I'm not in a good mood. Look, I'll do you a favor. If you're free Thursday, I'll take you to the Chocoholics Anonymous meeting. Spare me the insults, tough guy. If you got something to say, spill it. Well, I was just doing a little amateur sleuthing. God, you are a pest! Oh. This isn't a good time for a social call, punk. If I don't get it fixed soon, I'll go insane! <laughs> Dory me, Fossil Lotto! I don't make a practice of helping out addicts, but I think I've got something that will ease the pain. Oh, hold out on me, man. If you've got something, 
a chapel. What can I get you? You want to try a slice of my chocolate pie? I can get you a piece to go if you like. Isn't a good time for a social call. I don't make a practice of helping out addicts, but I think I've got something. Praise heaven! You've brought the ambrosia of life. Ask me anything you want. He leaves me alone. Can't ask for more than that. I think Jill, she used to fancy me. Until she found out my only true love was chocolate. Damn near broke her heart. Nice guy. Good cook. Every national feed of bum day, he brings me one of his award-winning chocolate pies. Ugh. I don't have much to do with her. They don't serve anything with chocolate in it at the pizza joint. The only time I ever see Sal is when he gets drunk and comes by to pick a fight. Then I kick his butt and send him on his way. That big goon! He used to hassle me until I shared a quart of chocolate syrup with him. Now he lets me alone. Wish I could help. I saw someone prowling around the back of the pawn shop last night. It was so dark. I didn't get a good look at him, but I could tell he was huge. Probably 6'3 or 6'4, about 300 pounds. Nope, don't know a thing about it. Sorry, can't help you with that. I stay out of politics, especially bad politics. Wish I could help. <laughs> 